All right, I'm out here today, 1,200 yards with my Sharps rifle, 45-120. I'm shooting a 500 grain bullet. Uh, it's leg three on my quest for Billy Dixon's shot of the century from 1874. Uh, it's 1,535 or 1,550 yards, somewhere around there, but I'm walking my way up to that distance or working my way up to that distance. I backed up, I changed the plate. Instead of it being 24 tall and 18 wide, I made it 24 wide and 18 tall because it's just easier to uh, get a reading with my front blade off the wider plate. I learned that at a thousand yards. I had a few issues because it makes it easier to bring the blade up on it and uh, hold it. Because what I'm doing is I'm holding literally on the bottom of the plate and adjusting the sights accordingly. You know, the plate's about so big and I'm just moving around like this. Then I had to move the plate where I had it sitting at and where I was sitting at. It kind of blended in with some bushes, so I kind of moved it around to the right. So it was sticking out pretty good, so I actually could see it really well. One of the things is, on the uh, stock, my cheek is raising way up, so my head's not really even touching anything. I think my chin right down here is just barely touching it. But uh, it's going to get interesting as I raise this side up more. I was using the shooting sticks today. I felt much more comfortable today with the shooting sticks than I did when I was shooting at a thousand yards. So I'm starting to get comfortable with them. Uh, every now and then I lined up on there and it'd be moving and I'm learning to just wait. It seems to calm down and then I can get on the trigger. I started sending rounds down there, walked it in, got around the plate and I'm noticing something. It seems like after a few shots, once I think I have it sighted in, suddenly I'm throwing rounds above it. So then I started moving the sight down a little bit, but I got it uh, to where it was pretty close. My second to last shot, I sent it down there and it really hit right. And so I made a radical change on my blade instead of like holding, you know, right, low right, low center, low left. I ended up going two to three plates to the left and let it go. And what happened is, is I didn't even know I hit it. I just watching, watching and nothing happened. And all of a sudden, I heard the ring and you can clearly hear the ring in the video also so that's really cool that's one of the things I learned at shooting at distance sometimes you don't know what's going on and uh, you just listen boom and you hear the ding uh, in the video it's a rock-solid hit on the plate no skip in no nothing uh, I did comment going I hope that's not a skip in like I said I didn't see anything I just heard the ding and fortunately it was a rock-solid hit good splash so here's the shooting portion of the video. That was a bunch short. Whoa. That was close. That one was a little high. No clue. That was definitely high. Just to the right.
wind is getting me. Hopefully it wasn't a skipping. Wow, 1,200 yards with my Sharps rifle, son of a gun. The wind was getting to me. I ended up about two to three plates aiming to the left. Booyah! Uh, uh, uh.